Where did the Moors come from? They nearly colonized Europe. Were the Moors as sellouts? The question we are dealing with today is, are you a Moor yourself? The Moors and the Barbary pirates were not black, says other scholars. They say these groups were Eurasians that made their way into Africa in the 17th century and colonized North and Northeast Africa. Let us find the definition of Moors and then determine who are the Moors and part of their history. On one hand, we find that there are some Americans, African Americans, that claim Moorish descent via their connection with Moroccan roots. They have achieved some form of uh, freedom because in the United States, for instance, in South Carolina House of Representatives, there is a law that is known as the Sandry Moors Act passed in 1790 that gave them some freedoms those Negroes or melanin dominant human beings that did not fall under such a citizenship. There are other prominent rulers and prominent thinkers that have come up to support this, these Moors saying that the Moors actually own the United States and that slave ships are a myth and that they are organically uh, members or citizens or sovereigns of the United States. They have got a number of websites where they promote this. When we look at Morocco and what has happened recently in Morocco, the Moroccan authorities committed serious violations against African migrants near the Spanish city of Melilla. They killed over 30 uh, people, innocent migrants. Morocco still treats melanin dominant human beings as chattel or as slaves or animals. Why? Why do we have others in the States still thinking that Morocco is their sovereign and is their land while it's their behavior? It's totally uh, different. When we look at the Moors, they've got a number of conflicting and contradictory acts. That's why we have asked the question, are they sellouts? We know that the, the Moors nearly conquered Europe, invaded Europe, a civilized perhaps Europe, and also colonized Portugal as well as uh, Spain. Who were the Moors? Are you a Moor? We know that now they were not a race. To understand them, you have to understand two principles. Islam and Arab. Today the term more is used to designate predominantly Arab Amazigh ethnic group in Mauritania. So the word Mauritania or the word more comes from this word Maul, which makes up two thirds of the country's population and the small Arab Amazigh minority of Mali. So when we look at the etymology of the and the history of the word more here in French is a member of a mixed race of Arab and Berber people. And then you find that in the German language is Maure and in French is Maure. Very interesting and very important this, where you get the English word now, more. Where the Moors are black. Europeans seem to think so. The famous writer Shakespeare wrote about the Moors and used the words uh, black, negro, and more interchangeably. The chronicler Alfonso X a rot of Moors attacking Spain, one was blacker than the next. The color of peach. Once a year, European countries have a festival celebrating Moorish history, and they wear a black face. The Spanish word for black men is Moreno, and in Spain, they do the Morisco folk dance in black face. Last but not least, if you Google up the coat of arms in Europe of the Moors, you find that you get a lot of people, uh, black people, melanin dominant people, popping up. What do we know from the word more, which comes? from the Greek word mauros, plural mauroi, meaning a black or very dark. That word is related to a number of melanin dominant words, specifically mauri or mauro in Chikaranga, a word for dark nights. After sunset, the language is spoken in Zimbabwe, Mozambique, South Africa, and Botswana. Are you a more? If, from this definition, it would likely be yes. The Tuareg, as well as other ancient uh, people. Here's the definition of black amour from an online dictionary. A very dark person, especially a black African. Let's look now at the source of the problem concerning the Moors. It is where did the Moors come from? The tricks that have been played and the confusion that has been created by European scholars and the historians is a deliberate distortion in history whereby they ignore facts like there was no Middle East. It was all Africa. Middle East was created in the 1940s. That melanin dominant human beings have been on the earth for 3 billion years. And that pale Asians 
have been on the earth for 15,000 years and Europeans for 8,500 years. So, where did the Moors come from? If Mo or Mauro, which is man and dominant human being, is true and correct in that definition, they did not come from the Europeans or Asians. Therefore, they are not of Afro-Asiatic origins as taught by some Moorish groups. So, what is also ignored and is very critical is the fact that today there are two sources or categories of Arabs. That's another factor and the source of problems concerning the Moors. Number one, the Arab Al-Ariba, literally the Arabic Arabs, which refers to the ancient genuine Arab consisting primarily of tribes that lived in Africa and Arabia because Arabia was part of Africa via the Cushitic kingdom, melanin dominant kingdom. And the last category of these Arabs today are in Yemen. No wonder why the Saudis who are not Arab Al-Ariba are bombing and committing genocide and poor African leadership and lots of Africa are quiet about that. Then the number two category is the brand of Arabs, the popular one now, in terms of ancient origins, but not today, are the Al-Arab, Al-Mustaraba. These are Arabized people who learned Arabic, who came from outside Africa and lived with the original Al-Arab, Al-Ariba, and have now taken over their heritage that's why my father is there to restore that heritage back. Now, the solutions to where did the Moors come from comes from understanding a number of other factors. That the conquest of the Red Line and that uh, the original texts were a Central Asian albino people, just like the Germanics and Slavs today in Europe and in Russia. And as pale as the Germanics and Slavs too, they came en masse and crossed the red line into Africa when Alexander the Greek defeated us in 333 BCE. It is the admixture of the melanin dominant native blacks of Anatolia, Northeast Africa, especially in Arabia, which is part of Africa, that produced a substitute race that significantly changed these people's techic phenotype. And then later on in 632, the Islamic religion glued them together. And it is this Islamic religion and a culture and a thought, political thought, that the melanin dominant people and their mulatto cousins converted into. And that is what makes them the Moors today. Although they originate way before that, but the content of their behavior today is that conversion and that religion. Despite all that, they are still white Moors. Today, with the help of European media, these Turkish mulattoes have completely usurped the original Arab identity along with that of original Africans who lived in Northeast and North Africa. This is where the pale white Moor comes from. And unfortunately, these were the zealots who first embraced Islam and uh, they were followed by the melanin dominant, our brothers and sisters, who the original melanin dominant Arab Beba, Kamitian, Babylonian, Mesopotamian, and Persian. They were all black. This group now that is known as the Moors nearly Islamized the whole of Europe, nearly Islamized the whole of Africa. And it was only by some seven tribes in Central Africa that they were blocked. Are you a Moor? Yes, you'll be a Moor if, as a melanin dominant human being, you convert into Islam. So this is very interesting because it will make the nation of Islam and everyone who converts into Islam a more. That's what we are saying here. The more has nearly colonized Europe. It is known as the Islamic conquest. And you can see that before they came into Europe, they conquered Africa. And when they went into Europe, that's when they became Moors. When they conquered Spain and Portugal and nearly conquered France. The Moors from North Africa conquered and ruled Spain for 781 years, from 8711 to 1492. So they spread Islam into all these parts in stages. 
it is during this period of over 700 years that they introduced civilization to Europeans via Spain in Europe and the term more got all mixed up. At the Battle of uh, Tours, Poitiers, France, the Frankish leader Charles Matteo defeated a large army of Spanish Moors and drove them and stopped them from venturing further into Europe. That's why Europe was never Islamized. That is the movement from Africa here. This is where our brothers were destroyed and killed and abused by the Spanish as well as the Moroccans who are one people today as long as they are not melanin dominant. So let's look at the culture that they introduced. You can see here a black Moor wearing a turban and armor by Karel Van Athri Emanda 1625-1670. He has a coat of arms of Aragon, Spain. You can see here the black people here in their uh, coat of arms. The bronze uh, bust of a lady of Ampurae, Iberia, which is Spain, year 0 to 100. The original Milan dominant human beings are there. More, they're introducing games, education and knowledge. They are again flag of Aragon, Spain, Milan dominant. They are again a flag of Sardinia, Italy, Milan dominant. Again, Algarve in Portugal, melanin dominant, but now they put themselves the Europeans also. Again, they are the Moors, again civilizing, again civilizing, and Corsica are France. And what happened to them then? Because they ruled Europe. Here is what happened when they lost Sardinia, the only stronghold that they had. Europeans plotted, fought harder, smartly, and the Moors were defeated, and the white people moved on already here they are already changing the images the defeat of the moors was of course a great moment in white history it was duly commemorated in the coat of arms and flags which we have already shown by former more or kingdoms as well as all what has happened so the primary reason european centrist today and white supremacists want to deny and are erasing this and not teaching this legacy of uh, the black moors and they use shameful lies it is because of the following much of europe was in the dark ages when the moors first invaded spain 99 percent of christian europe was illiterate even most of the kings and queens melanin dominant human beings civilized europe if moors are africans predominantly of northeast africa they had hermetic links their name mauro night or evening is telling and prophetic by inference it refers going to sleep and indeed they sold out you go to e wallace batch in many of his translation you get the word mau which is mauro in the palermo stele refers to the term mauro to mean the title of high priests of anu anu bantu we Melanin dominant human beings also found in Sumeria is the god Banu or Anu. Therefore, the Moors, the Mao had knowledge, priestly knowledge, just like their counterparts in Hamid, they sold out. So, this is example of what happened when we get uh, lost. So, here are examples of how, of how they sold out. Since they were the custodians of the law, since they are the custodians of the mat, since they are the custodians of our knowledge, since they are the custodians of our major nature, they established learning centers for Europeans and invaders. It says here in uh, the book Stolen Legacy by George E.M. James that uh, these Moors, they were really recognized custodians of African culture to whom the world looked for enlightenment. Consequently, through the medium of the ancient Arabic language, philosophy, and the various branches of science were disseminated, all the so-called works of Aristotle, it was given to the Europeans. Even including uh, the musical notation, they did that, they gave the Europeans. In addition, the Moors kept constant contact with Mother Kamit, for they had established caliphates, not only at Baghdad and Cordova, but also in Cairo. It goes on to say, just here it would be well to mention that all the great leaders of the great religions of antiquity were initiates. 
of the Egyptian mystery system. This is where the era was made. The law our ancestors left was that the Tamahu or anyone else was not supposed to be initiated even to read hieroglyphics. Unfortunately, today we are learning hieroglyphics from our enemy. It is time that thinkers like Sitoe, one of our uh, uh, Marfado scholar, is working hard to change that paradigm, totally change it. So, what else did they do to prove that they were sellouts? They, after establishing educational centers, they were involved also in slavery. The first wearing most Islam Muslims and the enslavement of their own very native indigenous brothers and sisters. You can see here, they took them right into Morocco and right into Europe. Very clear here, they took them and these are the roots that they used. Are you a Moor? Morocco was the epicenter of Moors, enslaving other melanin dominant human beings. That's how today it hates melanin dominant human beings, especially those who do not convert to Islam. Are you a Moor? No, you shouldn't be. And this is all the roots of how they enslaved the other melanin dominant brothers and sisters. You see that? Very, very clear face in Morocco, south was through Marrakesh, Jil Masa, Tualatra, and Adogast, Western route, all these, right to Timbuktu, because those were all Islam or Muslim, and to Jeddah, to Mecca, selling our brothers right up to today, they are doing that. Are you a more? Finally, are you a more? Yes, if you practice Islam, even if you mix it, with some bit of hermetic information, you are still a sellout and more. Consider these matters very seriously and redefine yourself if you are breathing life into that which is destroying our race. Let us work together. Let us unite. Let us remember that even with the power, we can lose it because of selling out and because of failing to stick to our identity work together we can ask others and other powers to be with us but we need to work may the gods appear our revered ancestor spirits ablaze may you be raised beyond the highest stars in this life as we pay homage and honor to our holy ancestors and blameless divinities for this life ameni if you want to connect with us and you want to get more information email us on join at marifado till we meet again Remember, do not be a sellout. Most sold out. You don't need to be a more. You need to be yourself, melanin dominant. And practice the original hermetics and become a committeean. Yours truly, Hamanager Topi, Priest Rabbi Elam Tumizu Kunikanim Jakanjam Skaban saying, till we meet again, Ameni.